softball team won five out of six games in Allendale this week. Junior Sarah Andrasik and freshman Courtney Reinhold shared the pitching duties. The week started with a 3-2 win over Wayne State. Sarah Andrasik outdueled last year's Pitcher of the Year, Lindsey Butler. In the second game, second baseman Jenna Lenza hit her fourth home run of the year to start the scoring. Janae Langs knocked in two runs and scored one as the Lakers completed the sweep of last year's regional champion, the Wayne State Warriors. The only loss of the week was game one against Ashland on Friday, a 1-0 game that saw the team strand 24 runners. Game two was highlighted by Jenna Lenz's three-run double in the seventh as the Lakers won 5-2. On Saturday, the Lakers exploded for 27 runs. In game one, the Lakers got a 9-0 five-inning mercy as Sarah Andresic got her seventh win. Game two was highlighted by Jenna Lenz's grand slam home run that helped the Lakers overcome some sloppy defense in a 12-3 victory. Softball team is now 20 and 7 after their five wins last week. Joining us now in their first year as head coach, Dana Callahan. Great week for your ball club. No question about it. the weather starts to improve and kind of your, your team starts to improve right along with it, right? And it all started last week in that sweep over Wayne State on Tuesday. Talk right. about that. Oh, we knew Wayne State was going to be a tough game coming in. They've got probably two of the best pitchers in the league. And it was just a matter of us being able to be disciplined on our strike zone and stringing a few things together. And uh, our pitching staff held up very well. They threw excellent uh, both games, and uh, our defense was behind them. So it was just a matter of putting everything together. Hey, you graduated a lot of really good players last year, but you're now seeing some of these freshmen, these incoming uh, girls really playing well. And some of the girls who were kind of role players last year are now stepping up into leadership positions. Discuss that a little bit because it's got to be neat to see. It is. And, you know, I knew the recruiting class obviously coming in. I was involved with that. So we knew we had some talent. You never know how they're going to adjust to the college game the speed of the game, the level of play, those type of things. And then we also made some, some uh, changes with returning players as far as position. Mackenzie Supernall played a lot of outfield last year. Uh, we moved her to third base, and she's done a fantastic job at third base. Uh, her bat's starting to come around. She's given us some RBIs, those type of things. Uh, and defensively, she's been very solid at third base. Uh, our freshman, Tegan Short, uh, Tegan Showman at shortstop. Uh, she's learning the game, learning the game very quickly, um, but she's doing a great job. She's shown some leadership and come through some some very key spots. Jenna Lenza is another one that is uh, really stepped up into a leadership role um, after playing last year as a freshman and learning the game. Uh, so she's done a great job. Um, and then Courtney Reinhold, of course, another freshman in the circle, has uh, really stepped up and done a great job uh, keeping us in ball games and giving us a chance to win. Discuss, if you can, uh, the game against Wayne State where you beat Lindsey Butler, one of the better pitchers in, in the GLIAC, no question about that. It had to be a really good confidence booster for your club. It was, and Lindsey did a great job as far as keeping hitting her spots and keeping the ball low on us. We just happened to get a couple hits that were strung together, and uh, we could get some runs across the plate. And uh, we, made, we took advantage of, of some of the mistakes that Wayne State made, and uh, that was key. And uh, then our pitching staff just did a great job of keeping their offense at, at bay. All right, Ashland uh, on Friday, a tough loss in game one, one nothing. The two teams combined to leave 24 runners on base. Not a few gray <laughs> hairs in that one, I would assume. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was just a matter of who was going to catch the break at the right time. Uh, the wind was a big factor in that. We had a couple hits that we thought were going to drop fair, and the wind took them and took them about eight feet foul. And, you know, it just that's the nature of the game when you're playing uh, in Michigan in March and April. Uh, so the weather did have a little impact, and it was just a matter of who caught the break at the right time, and unfortunately it wasn't us. But I was very proud of our team and the way they bounced back in game two and, uh, and took the split with Ashland. All right, on Saturday, a nice sweep over Lake Erie, kind of an, an opposite, polar opposite of the, <laughs> of, of the, the, the games against Ashland. You're, you combined to score 27 runs in those two games, so the bats are really going that afternoon for you. 
Correct. And that was one of the things we talked about on, on Friday night going into Saturday morning. We knew that we, uh, we needed to get the offense going a little bit. And uh, Sarah Andrzejczyk did a great job in game one, uh, keeping Lake Erie off the bases and stuff. And so we could get our confidence back with the bats. And then uh, game two was a, a wild one. Uh, we had a few defensive mistakes that hopefully will get corrected here in the next few days. And, uh, but our bats were, were strong. And uh, it's always fun when you can score a few runs. A big week uh, coming up for you here, uh, Dana. Eight games on tap. Lake State, uh, North, then at Northwood, then home to Ohio, Dominican, and then Tiffin. Talk a little bit about these matchups and what you hope to see happen here this week. Well, I just want to keep going what we've got going. We, we need strong pitching. We need to score some runs. Um, you know, it, it's the conference is so strong that you can't take anybody for granted. And it, and any given day, anybody can beat anybody else. And so we just really need to step up our defense a little bit, uh, keep our bats going, keep the strong pitching that we've had, and just work together as a team like, like we focused on all year long. All right, good luck in your games this week. Awesome. Thanks. We'll be back to look at the feature on the women's tennis team right